going on everyone? This is Liam Caddison here and today we're going to be reacting to Red vs Blue Season 10, Episodes 10 to 12. Uh, the first one be called CT, I wonder who that is about. Um, yeah, last time we had the meta going all meta really, well main going all meta. Uh, thanks to Sigma being a really bad influence, uh, like how he was showing hints of being a bad influence in Episode 6. Uh, with that whole, like, meta symbol, him organising that for main one day. And, uh, yeah, it, but it was badass as well. And uh, we had CT's jigs being up, like, basically her, like, cover being exposed to the director who didn't really give a shit because she was uh, trashed to him anyways, which, to be fair, it's a perfect analogy because that's, because uh, the direct, that's basically what the director said, but, um, yeah, I mean, he he's not the kind of character who's like, well, let's get CT back. Like, if she's at the bottom, then she then what good is she? So, and speaking of CT, Reds and Blues in Carolina and Washington, I, well, Washington's part of the Blues, but the Reds and Blues in Carolina are at the same place to where CT's helmet is at, and uh, um, the Reds and Blues finding a bit of suspicion around Carolina and how she's behaving and all that, like, how about she... How the fact that she's not telling information. Um, speaking about that scene, though, I did... I don't think I pointed it out. I just forgot about it in the day. But I love the fact that Caboose said, like, uh, uh, of all time, like, Stanley Washington's quote, um, where Tucker said he's the worst wingman. So, yeah, it all it all, all goes back to Caboose being the smartest character on the show because he remembers that. Anyways, CT, episode number 10. Let's get this going. Ancient alien temples. Here. Temples? Is that a no typo or something? That's because she didn't. No. Is that who I think it is? If what you're saying is true, how can yeah, this have CT. happened? But he knew about it. See, that's the thing. So, um, like he knew about CT Salva. the escape vehicle. I'm not leaving them. Uh oh. Uh oh. You don't understand. They want me. They don't care about the rest of you. I know too much. They want... If I leave, they will follow me. Quiet. That room is they... guarded by turrets. Yes. I can get past them. If there was a way to do it, I would have already done it. York, I need you to cut the power on the main complex. It'd be interesting to see them too. <laughs> oh, these two. <laughs> baby out here. Just do it. See what I can do. Sounds like a good excuse to get out of this bar. Buddy. Yeah. Good show, mate. Spirit. Still have a bit of fight for you. Oh, there he is. Oh damn! Oh damn! Oh 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 oh! That ma oh, is it good? Is that a distraction? No, I, I was gonna say. What now? Unless he plan, I don't know what he planned to do with that. Unless he's still got something. To oh, oh, okay, that might work. Bye. Oh, is it gonna? Cr oh shit! Oh shit! Oh, was it? Not that blood or something. Okay, well that worked. We're just here to retrieve the armor. Yes, not CT. Damn it! We need to go. I already told you I can't leave them. Most of them are already dead. Besides, if we leave, they have no reason to be here. Oh. Please, let's just go while we still can. Connie, come on. You promised me. You said we would be together. I have all the information we need. I have my Poor Samantha. Listen, ah, uh, I was gonna say, listen, but oh well, Caroline is here. <laughs> you has a name. <laughs> Delta, poor, poor y'all. You feel sorry for him. Mm -hmm. So give back the armor if you're going on the opposite side. Yes, they're not the really the enemy, the rules, but, them. you know, they're kind as well, Carolina and all that, even if she's got a bitchy attitude. Ends, we're all gonna have to pay for his crime. Well, he was arrested, so... You need to stop talking, CT. No. I mean, she's got a point. Oh, oh shit. shit. This is your last chance. No, I'm not going anywhere. Oh, she's backing off. She's backing... We don't need you. We just need your armor. I 
Oh shit! Hey, hologram, wait! Back to the hologram trick, nice. With the NMM kind of music going on. Oh, damn, nice. Go on, Tex. It'll be good for Caroline and Tex to work together and for the greater good of getting her armor. Damn, wait. Oh, yeah, it's her semblance. Yeah, like, not semblance. It's just that her, like, she works like Blake semblance. Kinda. Where she has that copycat shadow thing. Yeah. Oh shit. Nice. Oh yeah, there we go. That's the thing we're talking about, the shadow yeah thing. What the hell are you doing? Completing our objective by killing Oh, here we go. Come on. She's not a teammate. She's a traitor. Damn it. That's on you. Oh shit, here we go. Just it was just the it was just now that killing her would be the only choice. Because that means she won't be running anywhere. I don't know what's gotten into you, Texas, but you better figure out the difference between your enemies and your friends. Ooh. I mean they've both got different objectives. Caroline didn't want her dead, but Tex was uh, like any means necessary kind of stuff. Um Took a beating. Wait. Oh, very right. thought That was. <laughs> this, there she is. Here, take the info. It's not complete, but it will get them started. How did she get patched up in time for the? Find the new artifact. Just rest, Connie. Same one at the uh, temple. Connie. 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 No. But how did she get revived then at the end in, in the red versus blue battle? With when they went to that temple. Damn. I have to say she does look pretty as well. The few freak faces. <laughs> Even they're animated, but like still. Or is this how, like, I don't know, him tossing your ma it, tossing it out or something? Wait. He became out. Oh, oh. So that explains. Okay, that explains a lot. Right. So that's what happened to her armor. Apparently, Fed we off never did complete else. our objective. But why come out here? What's the motivation? I have a feeling this will tell us. Oh. This is gonna like a big ooh. So I'm just, I'm just really impressed by that because we got confused with Washington's comments about being a girl. Like we thought it was like Texas filter, um, when she spoke uh, as a guy, but um, when he made that comment about it being a her, um, it explains a lot with him putting on the helmet. So kind of oh, now I feel bad. Now I feel bad that Connie died. <laughs> it, it feels cheap for me that I I reacted like that because I'm thinking, oh, well, how did she get revived? And I'm like, oh, okay. So um, I feel bad now. Is that normal? Do I? Is it right? That I, should I feel like a dick? I mean, Connie was a really um, interesting character, anyways. But yeah, god damn it. So the next one is out of body. This is episode eleven. I'm, so we're at the halfway point really of season 10 which has been a really intriguing and incredible journey thus far. Let's go. I'm noticing a glitch so, going on uh, at the bottom I there feel, like all the time. like running over each and every one of you. So pretty much the same as before. Yeah. Do it! You got the opportunity! You know Simmons, I think I'm gonna let you call shotgun on this one. Oh, <laughs> this sucks. What are you complaining about? You finally got your own body. So you can call shotgun. Tucker, I'm a fucking Tonka truck. Hey, yeah, but... You could literally pick up chicks with this thing. Oh, oh for yeah. Christ's because sake. Every girl just dreams about settling down with Optimus Prime. Huh? <laughs> Don't do that. Sorry. <laughs> Good boost. Really cool. Don't forget to shout your prize. Kaboom, <laughs> shut up. <laughs> Tucker, bring Epsilon over here. I've got some questions for him. God damn it. Ooh. 
Any luck? I think so. Ooh, the thing. All right, data That's the um, like orb right that he was in for so, season uh, six for? and seven. I just told you. Oh, yeah. But, I mean, you could talk to me instead. What's <laughs> up, girl? Why on earth would I ever want to do that? Well, you know, we're still trying. Men. We're both super good looking badass rebel owners, and we've got the same color armor. Yeah, I was going to say blue. that's the only thing, isn't it? Like, uh, I'll go for <laughs> you know. Turquoise? Hey, what the fuck color is this anyway? Listen, it's important that we figure out what's on CT's data pad. Next step our next clue to find yeah. the director. It's just been a really yeah, intriguing I know that thing. um Wait, you recognize this artifact? Hell yeah, it was the biggest pain in the ass. Hi, it's Church. <laughs> yeah, he had lost a lot of weight. <laughs> oh, yeah. Caboose transferred Epsilon from a memory unit into that thing a long time ago. Yes, Where he did. is it now? I don't know. Who cares? I was going to say it doesn't wash oh. no, but no. Well, case, yeah. Uh, Caboose, tell her where it is. Right. Yes. Okay. Right. Yes. I will do that. Yes. <laughs> right. Not that many more. Now. Well, Sarge, you always. All the way in that. Isn't it all the way in that temp? Like, um. Control. Actually, like all the, like, freelancer facility. Now, right now. Yep. Every night after you boys would retire to your bunks, I would climb up to the top of the base and just wait, <laughs> hoping I would see a shooting star so that I could wish for your violent and unbearably painful time. Oh, my okay. God. Stop now. I even had a little jingle to go along with it. Please of course he would. I just wish that Griff was dead. I hate you. <laughs> la, 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 la. Even done on it. Oh, thank God. What? <laughs> I was crazy when I woke up with that rifle in my hand. <laughs> Where are we? For fuck's sake. Simmons, why didn't you tell me about this? Oh, shut up. It wasn't even loaded. How can you just leave an ancient alien artifact on the floor of a warehouse? Uh -oh. Okay. I think, I think Claire on, is a bit buddy. pissed. Claire, you know. Yeah, I'd already broken it. <laughs> yes. Uh oh. Corrupted. Uh oh. That's not right. Oh, yeah, because uh, that's when he went nothing. into like the body, the armor that he's wearing now. Big death. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> this is the Rise of Blues. They never make no. life easy. What is wet? Now? There's an island nearby that I want to visit. Oh. Shouldn't take more than a day or so. That old fortress, Carolina. I'm not Watch. sure there's a. Trust me on this. Um, j like. Right. Pi that pyro <laughs> probably listen to your instincts. Caroline's you stay quest here has been and an keep interesting journey. Troopers from causing any trouble. I won't be long. She's calling them sim troopers as well. Like, I know she acknowledges that, but it's All like right, move into the nobody else is going that harsh. Hey, Wash, where exactly is she going? She lost her cord. I think she just needs some time to try and find it again. Yeah, but like I said, Carolina's journey has just been a really intriguing one thus far, and her quest to find the director, it's just been really, really the juicy. The of military equipment is a severe mm. infraction. I should not need to remind you that all UNSC property, Go back especially to Malcolm again. our more experimental just... technologies, must be... I want that, I want to do that. For <laughs> some reason it feels fun. In these trying times, like this training vigilance thing. is paramount. <sighs> Ugh. Poor York. Still training at this hour. Yeah. She's been like this since we got back from the last mission. You gotta be kidding me. She's always been like this. Well, she, to be fair, yeah. Tex mean, being her has no put, put a bit of weight but on her shoulders. Like she doesn't know how to stop. There we go. Always train. She's I guess the trying to get back. Yeah. Like she's well, trying to get back on the top, to but I don't think she's ever going to get back to you about the top. Tex in That's in the not really an answer. So what are you doing awake? Theta. Couldn't sleep. <laughs> and if Theta can't sleep? Ah, one of the side effects they don't tell you about. Having yeah, someone so else's if the AI head, can't... Sure does take some getting yeah. used to, doesn't it? And Delta's always running these probabilities. Well, that seems annoying. He says it's fun. You know, Not did you know fun. that statistically, you're as likely to get hit by lightning as you are to die in a pelican crash? <laughs> seems like it would be higher considering our line of work. Yeah. Guess I'm due for a few lightning bolts. <laughs> <laughs> A 6.3% increase in efficiency that round, Agent Run Carolina. it again, Phyllis. Resetting training okay. floor for next round. She's, she's so desperate to get up there, but it's just... You stayed uh, up late often? You're wondering if he gets scared a lot. Yeah, guess I am. Well, it happens. Mainly at night. He likes when I walk the halls. 
When we were kids, my dad would have to drive south around in the car to get her to fall asleep. It's just looking at this deep discussion about they're all like this. The AIs, you know, jittery, nervous. No, no, not all of them. Not nervous. Anxious. Yeah, anxious. It's like Delta thinks something bad is always about to happen. I don't get it. Because he's ready what to they start have to the sticks. Pelican crashes, lightning strikes. Hey, maybe they know something we don't. Yeah, it's about the toll shows, isn't it? Why don't you just pull him for a night? Get yourself some sleep. Pull Theta? Yeah. He gets even more scared when I do that. I feel obligated to help. I see why they picked up. Oh, yeah, because yeah. Noth's got that compassionate well, side. I really love her. At some point. If they want to be human, that's a good place to start. What can I tell you? I guess Meta some things are just harder to face than others. Yeah. Night, North. Don't stay up too late. You need your rest. Round complete. Wow, run it again. It. That last round showed a 3.6 percent. Just run it more. again. Resetting training room. <laughs> Our lines look right. But that was a really deep discussion with York and um and North. That was just really, really great. I was just loving the interactions, especially with Theta. Round complete. Run it again. Resetting training room floor for next round. <laughs> I think you're gonna be a bold. Yeah, yeah, I was gonna say, I think you're gonna be a bold knight if you're gonna keep watching uh Carolina, she's not going to quit. But that was really deep. That was conversation about the um, AIs and how they, um, you know, how they react and all that stuff. And you just worry about like their ang anxious side and whatnot. I think that's uh, referring to the torture state and whatnot and the whole alpha stuff going on. Because um, yeah, I mean, it's just really because re like they're not all like theta. Um, but you gotta also think as well, like like these cruel experiments are also happening at the same time. Um, so yeah, it's just just really really deep discussion with North and um, and North and York. It was just really really powerful stuff. And then you saw Caroline in the background, of course, just training, being better. She's just really really hurt seeing Tex above her, um, and then that confrontation, of course, at, at, um, in the CT mission. So the final episode of today, episode 12, Out of Mind, I'm really enjoying this so far and uh, I'm really intrigued to see what happens next with Caroline, uh, Carolina's journey, of course, going off on her own card. So let's get on with episode 12, Out of Mind. It's also the miniseries as well, isn't it? Fire detected. Cover recommended. Cover, cover, cover! York, are you okay? Oh shit, is this going back to the Out of Mind? Oh shit. Oh damn! I'm sorry, York. Yeah, sorry, it's the, I didn't the place uh, where he got, he died at. I just, oh sh! I don't understand. It's interesting how this all takes back. Why Tex? Tex? You. Tex was uh, with him the last as well. Shh. Let me guess. Just wanted some information. Caroline, uh -oh. I don't have a clue, do you? Oh you no. You and your friend. Just think I'm some bloodthirsty merc with a bad attitude. But you know what? You're wrong. I'm much worse. Oh shh. Look, you go and round up everyone Don't I piss know off. just to bring me back. And then you keep us all in the dark? <laughs> what the hell did you think was gonna happen, Carolina? To be fair, of he's got a point. I mean Well, I don't trust them, Epsilon. Oh shh. I don't trust anyone anymore. Oh, why not? Damn. Because having friends would ruin the whole psychotic loner bitch thing you've got going on? <laughs> it's because I had a team once. A team with the best training, the best equipment, and despite Just everything that they had that made them the best. So, so was, there was, lied, yeah, I was going to say there was some kind of distrust. Each other to pieces. I've been down that route. So you tell me, how the hell am I supposed to trust a ragtag team of idiots when I couldn't even trust the people that were closest to me? That's what I Damn. thought. I think he was like, oh, shit. Um, I never thought I'd say this, but, but I can't sleep. I don't blame yeah, her, to be know. fair, like, with her attitude, how she was stabbed yeah, in the back. It's a nervous habit, okay? No, where the fuck does someone find potato chips in the middle of the desert? <laughs> ah, quit your complaining. <laughs> exactly, you're not, not complaining, are you? The only thing we've got to worry about are sand fleas. And that other island <laughs> you're not going to control outside. Wow. 
You have a way with words that just immediately makes me want to kill myself. <laughs> oh, my little fairy friend said. I thought Donut was your friend. <laughs> oh, All we've got to do is oh. get together. Everything will be just fine. Well, somebody probably should have told Caboose that. Because he's gone. Again? This is the same place, isn't it, where he disappeared and, yeah. Carolina? I'm done talking to you. Oh. Carolina, I think I found something you might want to see. see. Really? Del what might that be? Was that? Yeah, it was. Delta? I was thinking there was a bit of green going on. Struggling to remember. Remember what? Delta? Delta, please, don't. Good evening, beautiful people. Yo. It's a Monday night, and I'm here with another adrenaline pumping journal entry. Oh, courtesy of our good friend Delta. It can't be. York, please. Documentation is an important yeah, part of. Yeah. Merry <laughs> Christmas. Forgive me for trying to lighten the mood. <laughs> so today, I intercepted some interesting messages from our good friends over at Project Freelancer. Uh oh. It sounds like someone is causing them a bit of trouble. Old news, I know. Old news. <laughs> but here's the interesting part. D, give me a drum roll, please. I would prefer not to. They said, she, she as in a lady, not Wyoming, not Maine, but a former female freelancer has suddenly popped up on the PFL radar. Mm. And if you know me, then you know my money's on the gal and the greenish blue, seafoam, green, turquoise, whatever it is, armor. <laughs> it's like a confusion going on. If I had any. Oh. Wait! Still no ID on our female troublemaker. But given what I know about South Last location, fairly certain the odds are in my favor. Again, I must point out that from a statistical standpoint, the odds of Agent Carolina... In other news, Hurricane Delta continues to rain think... on my parade. <laughs> they think she's dead or something, like the Delta. Again, I think I've narrowed down my line to like two options, okay? Here, here they are. One, hey there, Carolina. If I said I like your armor, would you hold it against me? Or two, George, please focus. What? Pickup lines are important. Oh, Did I ever damn. tell you about how we met? See, I was out one night with my buddies. They abandoned me in some ridiculous nightclub. I think it's called a Rara. So I'm just sitting there at the bar, bored out of my skull. And I'm flicking this lighter off and on. Then from out of nowhere, she walks up. She just grabs the lighter right out of my oh, hand. And she goes, Agent Foxtrot 12, journal entry 0424. Shh, intercepted another powerful. transmission from command today. They have confirmed that... Agent Texas continues to evade the response. Oh, he's heartbroken because he thought... He still does possess the Omega AI. Nothing more to report. Yo, oh, fuck. You know me? I bet if I had opened up with a pickup line, I would have never seen her again. Because she probably would have busted my other eye. What would you have told her, York? I would have told her... that I understand why she did what she did. I just wish she hadn't. She could have learned to let things go. I guess I should too. Oh shit! That, no. Why did you show me that? Oh shit! Because I know what it's like to spend your life chasing ghosts. Oh, feel. Oh my god, that was no, that was. I've never cried at Red vs. Blue before. I don't think. And, Hello, Holy Caboose. shit, I'm just Hello, no. Oh. You know you're supposed to be in the temple with the rest of your squad. Um yes. yeah, well. Uh well, um, but you see, um I am spying on you. <laughs> you're doing a good job at it. <laughs> why are you spying on me, Caboose? Well, yes, um, since everyone is kind of scared of you and uh, Carolina, we yeah. figured we should try and get as much information. On you guys is possible, so um, <laughs> you're not being discreet, though. Where do you guys see yourself in the next five to ten years? <laughs> Good you question. Realize that when you spy on someone, no one's actually supposed to know that you're spying on them. Yeah, right? could be. Oh yeah, I know. I just figured you wouldn't tell anyone. He's going through his Omega phase, isn't he? Because he was like, oh, yeah, come on, down I mean, like, I'm, you know, I'm pretty speak sure kind and low. You. I mean, we are friends. Ooh. Friends. All goes back to Carolina and that. Well, I think it's more than understand. New York. These are more than memories. His journal entries were part of the data that Watch recovered, and they stored them in his personnel file. Which just so damn happened it, to be damn one it, of church. the many folders you, Well, Alpha Epsilon, whatever. You the broke last my time heart. I visited a freelancer facility. Not bad for a ragtag idiot, if I do say so myself. 
Feel free to start begging for my forgiveness, whatever you feel like. You care that was just heartbreaking, though. <laughs> Seriously? But I will thank you. Aww. Yeah, well, I'm pretty great. <laughs> Church. The director's still out there somewhere. And I need to find him. Yes. Go Not on. just for what he did to me, but for what he did to York, and to Wash, to Maine, the twin, to oh, all shit. of them. And for what Flipped he did down. to you, Church. Down. I hope she does kill him. I guess I forgot that, in a way, you were there alongside us, too. Alpha, you know, all that, because he is Alpha. Through, the more that sounds like a pretty damn good plan. Find anything that could help us out? Yeah, it's a lot of stuff to remember all at once, but I might be able to pull up some of the director's logs if you gave me some time. Well, well, yes, he's, he did of pull time on our ride back. About She's got that. the trust. Is there any way we can get back to the others that doesn't involve me carrying you? <laughs> Wow, Church. I didn't know an AI unit could get so easily embarrassed. <laughs> tell you what. Oh my. Tell your friends that you picked me up. How does that sound? Robotic never lets you talk. This episode. <laughs> this episode just right. absolutely killed Back me. Alright, people. We're moving. Where to now? There's an old ship that crashed in a freelancer outpost. Mm -hmm. Outpost 17B. Yes, because that's what. Back to Valhalla. Back to Rome, base. That's right, assholes. You're finally going home. Hmm. And you're oh, taking she... us she's... with you. Nice. She's put him in his head. Good. Okay. Awesome stuff. So they're going back to Valhalla. Awesome. Holy shit, though. <sighs> I don't think a Red vs. Blue episode's made me feel that much. I fucking struck a heart. Like, that struck something in my heart. I think it's the first time I've really cried with Red vs. Blue. I mean, there have been instance, instances where it's been sad, but that was just downright heartbreaking, especially when he came back on the, in his final log and said uh, he was disappointed. Show, that fucking... It's not even thinking about it right now, but... Man, that was just really, really powerful stuff, and that was a great episode, and it's great that uh, that Carolina seemingly had um, her trust back into uh, Epsilon after after that whole message heartbreak thing. But damn, that was a that was heartbreaking, and yeah, I'm not gonna forget that one. Definitely not. So yeah, I will see you guys going back to Valhalla. I'm good. I can't wait for that. But yes, I will see you guys next time. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you check my videos on the right. If you want to check out more of my content? You can also subscribe to my YouTube channel if you want to. Hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. Hope you guys take care, and I will see you guys next time. Toodles.